This is Boxing Tickets NA. It's the start of 2024. We're, we're, we're in our third interview of the year now. We're, we're, we're picking up traction. And I guess, obviously, a, a good place to come back. Obviously, we're fresh off the news tonight. We'll be joined with Kevin Cronin. Kevin, I guess, it's obviously just been made public today um, that, obviously, you've signed with, with Colin and Boxing. You've, you've, you've obviously you've admired Colin and Boxing for quite a while. I can think back there interviewing in June of last year. We had sort of said you were a free agent and everything else. You're you're obviously a relieved man that you've got obviously you, your first resolution of twenty twenty four of the way and, and signing a common boxing. Yeah, yeah, great signing actually. Um, yeah, I've I've been saying to you with a while that it was Dima. Obviously, I was always trying to impress and try to if there was anyone I wanted to sign me, it'd be common boxing. So yeah, I couldn't couldn't have worked out any better to sign with him now, especially coming into a new year. Um, it's, you could say I had a good year last year. Um. Things went well the first half of the year. The second half of the year just slowed down and things just things just slowed down really, you know, nothing happened. Um, even though there was stuff there to happen, like, you know, but uh, nothing was made of it. Um, but yeah, it's just a great way to come into the new year now. Signed with the promotion I wanted to be signed with. And um yeah, just looking to get busy now and can't wait to can't wait to get out under the condom box and banner. Obviously, not everybody would obviously have seen, but but obviously, um, after obviously your fight with Jimmy Morrissey and, and Galway, you, you spent quite a bit of time with, with Michael and obviously Jimmy afterwards. And was it sort of that impression? I guess sometimes you can be sort of starstruck and sort of certain company and stuff like that. You know, Jimmy and Mick obviously have both fought world titles and everything else. But what was it obviously about that initial interaction with Michael that just got you interested in Colin Boxing? Was it just the way they done business, the way there were people people oriented it? Yeah, so I suppose before I even chatted with with Michael, like you know, I, we've had a, we had a few chats with Jamie. It's just they're just good people. That's that's my they're they're kind of like John and my coach said. It, he said they're very like us. You know, they're straightforward. They're honest, and like that's it. They say it straight, and they're they're sound people as well. Really, is the is the most straightforward way to put it, John. They're nice people. Straightforward and like they say it as it is, and I would I wouldn't have it any other way. And like that, they're we get along, we get along very well with them. And you could even even after that Galway show, Johnny was saying like she's job. I'd like to work with him again, John. I I I said as well like I love obviously I love fighting on that stage, but it was very easy to work with them. Like you know, there was there was no strings attached. They said it as it was. Anything they said was happening. There was obviously then in Galway. There was the ticket, the ticket issue where there was just an issue with tickets last minute, Joe. There was a lot of my gang coming up and then the tickets ended up being they were so by Kieran uh, the by Kieran Malai's gang, uh, which it was it was just an honest mistake, like Joe, there was nothing really to it. Um but Jamie went above and beyond, Joe, just to get just to get my my gang in and uh, he done it for he done it for Jamie Morris's gang too, like John, he got them in. And like that, he didn't have to. If there was any other promoter in the world, they probably would just say they'll get over it, you know, they'll take their paycheck and they'll fight, you know, I'll their friends. But no, I didn't they went above and beyond for it. And um but yeah, look, they're just just good honest people. And yeah, we had a good chat after it. Um chat was more to do with the fight, you know, how they thought it went, you know, what and that they enjoyed it and just just general chat. There was one or two things past all right, the uh, Joe maybe about something being in Kerry and it kinda sparked something in my head to think they might actually Joe have an interest there as well. Um just just small little things, you know, but um but yeah, look, we've we've got to know the lads a lot better over the last couple of months because obviously we're meant to be on the RDS show as well. <laughs> like that, everything went so sweet again. Joe, there was no no strings attached for he who shall not be named. So um but um, yeah, everything everything went brilliant with them. Couldn't I just don't think I could be with a better team right now. Do you know, that's we get along great with them, and it's that's the long and short of it. I guess when you sort of you see obviously the the, the Colin Boxing and a Matchroom Association coming together there as well, it probably excites you more so than the fact that as well we've seen obviously the the SSE card which you were up at in Belfast in December. That association Matchroom are coming back again now in two weeks time. You're obviously excited for that part of it as well. Do you potentially get, you know, getting on the on the matchroom card and promotion with with Colin Box and getting shown worldwide with the zone? 
yeah, look, that's obviously that's obviously a bonus set too. The the contacts there at Matchroom, the um the running shows at Matchroom. It's unreal. Uh but like that that wasn't that wasn't the selling point for me either, you know, because God only knows how long that'll last, you know. Maybe Matchroom might want to come back again for another few months and then I'll jo- I'll be on the condon shows. But that's that's uh it's the relationship with the lads is the reason the reason I wanted to be with them, to be honest. And and even the condon shows, I think they were a class like that of all my fights, you know, and um I enjoyed like I enjoyed all the shows I fought on. And uh even the Mac Dunlop show, Joe, that was great as well in Belfast. But uh, I don't think anything beats beats that night in Galway that we had with Condon Boxing sh- on the Condon Boxing show. And then um, it's not just me saying either, Joe. Every one of my fans that was that's all they talk about was well when it's coming to the fight. The Cork show was brilliant, but after there were a few there and they were like, oh, Joe, there was nothing like the Galway show though. And um, obviously look the fight made that side of it too. But even the the setup, Joe, you know, was it was, a, it was big time boxing in a small arena, John. You know, it was um, it was it was cool as fuck to be honest, like John. You know? So I even look forward to them nights. And if these the zone cards come off and I get slots on them, then they're a bonus too. But the main thing is that I have trust in the guidance, John. You know, that, that Mick and Jamie can bring me down the right route, John. You know, have the right fights at the right time. They can get me the opportunities I want at the right time, you know, and uh. That's 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 the big part about being with them. Look, to the zone cards. I I think the likes of them, the them them days will come anyway because I'm gonna be guided in the right direction. Um, they'll probably come sooner rather than later. Just the way that the relationship is now a matchroom, I might just start getting slots in the cards. I don't know, but um, yeah, it's it's obviously it's class to see that too that they're working with Condon Boxing. But like that, it was that wasn't the selling point for me, you know. Is, is it good for you in the fact that obviously not just your talent in the ring, but obviously as a boxer now you have to have talent outside of the ring. So obviously the way you've marketed yourself and things like that, you've made yourself in the way that you are. Is that is that sort of reward for you in the fact that all your hard work and perseverance and you know putting up a lot of posts on social media, which you have to do nowadays. We see a lot of fighters complain about YouTubers and, and white collar stuff and things like that. You've went about it the right way and, and building up a social media following, you know, building up your fan base in Kerry that's sort of it's led you to this moment. So it's sort of deserved for all the hard work you've put in. Yeah, but look, it's like so when you say hard work, it sounds a bit doesn't sound right, you know, saying that like putting a few posts up on Instagram here and there is hard work, but like it the this this side that is kind of hard, like y'all can be frustrating, it can be can be annoying sometimes, you know, you're trying to sell fights that you know, don't happen for certain reasons and you're at, all that's after going into your social media, John, you know, there's a lot of people engaged in and the likes of that fight and that. There's a frustrating side to it, yeah, but um, I suppose, look, it, it's it's nice that something's coming of it, but I like to think that that's down to my box and, you know, um, and like I really just want to finally get settled down down away from light heavyweight, you know, because even though I had that one fight at super middleweight already, it was it was a jump in, you know, it was it was basically cut weight and jump in because it was it was a very short, sharp period after the Morrissey fight. So you know, it wasn't like I had a full camp settled into my new weight class, you know, and got to got to settle into the weight class and and then put in a superior performance at the new weight. It was more or less just oh there's a, there's a slot here and what was it four weeks time or something like that, and then right cut weight, cut weight, cut weight, you know, and so I look forward to set, actually finally settling into the weight and um putting on solid performances like that fight in the RDS. I was more than settled into the weight, you know. I was feeling great. I was actually feeling brilliant. I was even coming in lighter earlier than expected, and um everything was going brilliant. So I look forward to another camp like that. So because I'm gonna start camp next. Or, well, I'm training, John. You know, I'm training and sparring. I'm training as if I'm, it's always camp. Like, you know, I'm always training, but I'm going to start training for a specific fight from next week on, you know. Um, but yeah, you know, look, it's nice, to be, it's nice to be rewarded for all the hard work, I guess. But this this is only the start of the hard work. You've you no know, doubt obviously got it. She knuckles sort of that, that phrase in boxing. Obviously, you know, it's been June since your last fight, I say, in, in 17th of June in, in Cork. I guess, you know, probably more than anything now that now that the signings out of the way, it's like 
when can he get me a fight and things like that. Obviously, there might be obviously information they follow, so I'm not sort of getting you to break break obviously code straight away, but I'm guessing obviously that's a sort of priority now. He's getting a fight date and getting something to work towards. Yeah, so yeah, that's that, that is the next thing. Like, is just get a fight, get that fight underneath the kind of banner, you know, with with the boys in my corner. So that's um, that 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 is the next move. Um, like it's I know there's that show on January twenty seventh. Look, it hasn't hasn't been said to me or anything, but it's just unfortunate that I couldn't get the medical sorted in time. Um, like my MRI, I'm waiting and waiting on this MRI with weeks, and I still haven't got a date. Um, so I'll hopefully get that done over the next couple of weeks because if I had all my medicals started now, I'd definitely be pushing to try try get my slots, you know. But um, like that, it's only it's only the beginning with the lads and me. So so um, I just look forward to getting getting a good campaign and putting a solid performance um in my first performance underneath our banner and look we'll see where we go from there. I guess obviously when you know when you sort of look at options and things like that, like you know. You know, thinking of obviously domestic options, it obviously can still be there in 2024. And, and obviously, congratulations as well. I see that you and, and uh, Jamie are obviously rightly getting all the accolades for obviously your, your rematch in Galway last year. It, it was a given that sort of that was going to be. If it wasn't fight one, it was definitely going to be fight two. But, you know, you know when you look at, you know, there's potential of a, of a Morrissey trilogy fight. There's obviously um, Brennan's obviously on the scene. You, you have the Craig McCarthy fight. It's been there since since June sort of was done for September. Um, I obviously have seen sort of comments Craig's put out there, you know, the dangling cards there. Now, if he wants to fight on a matchroom card with Eddie Hearn, you're obviously the route to sort of get there if he wants to have this domestic fight. But there's plenty of options domestically, but I'm sure the thing you probably more than anything now don't want to do is be continuing to sit for another 12 months worrying over domestic fights you want to push on. Yeah, that that won't happen. That's, that's It's definitely not going to happen now. Look, I've it's for the first time in a long time I've got stability in my career now. So I know it's it's day one, but it's stability. I didn't have that, you know. There was me and my coach and my coach run as my manager, you know, trying to get slots here and there, you know, seeing what offers came in, pushing for fights, and looking for promotions to put the fights on in. Like, you know, I had no no stability, let's say. And um and yeah, on top of that now, on top of that. I think, yeah, I'm in a great position because like you said, you mentioned three names there domestically. That's the that's kind of the position I'm in right now is <laughs> not everyone has three options. You know, some people I don't know, might win a fight and they might only have one option. Someone might lose a fight and they have no options, but I'm in such a good position now. I have I've got options. So um that's that's obviously a positive thing going forward. But like that got to get active and um, mean like we're I was talking to Mick and Jamie and that's uh it was Mick said it like he said activity he said you you need you need to be active and um it's something I haven't had in my career you know I could have an active period and then it slows down and stops because a certain fight falls through or because the date's not there and we're just around the place looking for dates you know and it's um it's not, I suppose, look, it's not, it's not even fair on myself and my training because I'm traveling up and down from Kerry to Dublin training all year round, you know, to go maybe six, six, seven months without a fight, you know, it's a, uh, it's not, it's not right because there's people like, you know, they might be training a percentage as much as I am and it might only be outside their front door and they could be fighting every, every couple of months, you know, so it's, uh, it's about time I, I'm getting rewarded, you know, for all the hard work. And the reward just needs to be fights, you know, and and we'll step it we'll step it up from there. Like, you know, just get get this next get this first fight out of the way and start stepping it up from there. Just just anybody obviously listening in, obviously and, and, and liking them options. If you obviously want to let us know, obviously in the comments, um, obviously in, in what sort of route you'd like to see Kevin obviously go in, you know, if you're Jim and Morrissey, if they have Brennan, you have the Craig McCarthy, obviously what options people like to see if you want to let us know in the comments. But I guess, you know. It's like anything, obviously, it's your 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 column box and obviously stable mate. Now obviously uh Potty McCrory, you know, he's he's obviously come up the hard way, obviously having to come through that circuit, obviously being managed by Jamie. He, he's obviously Michael's Michael's brother. He's obviously on the verge of, you know, he's a Balanga fight and then potential of a Canelo fight or or whatever afterwards. It's a good role model to sort of have in that respect to go that you coming through the small circuit now 
to be the next supermodel weight and guide it, it's hard for you not to, to focus too far ahead and sort of go, this could be me in, in 12, 18, 24 months time. Yeah, and like that's another one of the things I was looking at. And that's that's the exact person I also looked at when I was looking at things is like, look what they done for Padre McCrory. God, it was the right step ups at the right time. And some people were saying at the time, well, it's just the wrong time for this step up. But he proved them wrong because the Condons knew and Paddy knew. And outside of Paddy and his team, Joe, that's that's all he needs to trust, John, not the people that are writing online saying you're not ready for this or whatever. Just Paddy and his team. And um, yeah, great, great person to look up to. Like he's going into an enormous fight. Um, fight. I actually think he wins. I've spared him already at the start of his camp. And uh, I was talking with him yesterday. So... And just waiting on dates now, but I'm gonna be sparing with him again a few more times before uh before he fights Berlanga. So like that's that's obviously gonna be very look, it's gonna be very good for me too, because there are there world class rounds I'm getting, but even just to test myself and see what level I'm at, you know, how what I need to work on to get to the level he's at now, like, you know, and even if it's a few years' time or whatever, you know, okay, I think in another two years I'll be at the level he's at, whatever, I can be judging that while we're sparring. Um, but like that, my main priority going up would be to would be to help party because like I don't think there's a person in the country wouldn't like to see him join you know, really, really just cause a enormous upset. Like because as you said, like the winner of the fight, it could be Canelo next, and that's just brings it to it doesn't get bigger, like it, it really doesn't. Like even even you have Bivel there, like you know, and Bivel beat Canelo, but Canelo's still a bigger fight for someone. Than Bivol really, um. So yeah, look, it's as uh, what you were saying is yeah, great, great person to look at and say right, look, they guided him in the right way. That more or less the way I'd love to be guided. You know, that's that's kind of the way I'd love to. I want to be guided. You know, um. So what better route to go than with the lads that done it? And uh, yes. yeah, of course, looking up the body. When you sort of, you know, a fight or fight sometimes, but sometimes you need someone there, you know, to make the decisions for you and obviously to give you a path, sort of, you know, your your, your three, six and 12 months sort of plan and, and where sort of things are. And to say having that track record as a fighter, you'd fight everybody, but obviously it might not get you in the right path. They obviously put you in positions, obviously having a, a promoter's name like Michael Conlon behind you as well. When it comes to rankings and stuff like that as well, we know that rankings can be, Bad politics and stuff can be involved, but when obviously you're signed, you obviously good promotion things like that. You'll get ranked sometimes quicker as well, so that's a good thing to have. Um, also, um, but but look, Kevin, obviously I know we wanted to keep it short and keep it sweet today, and, and obviously I have you have you out obviously in your in your gym sort of the cold um out of the way. Um, but obviously congratulations, obviously on your news. Um, we'll hopefully catch up with you if you're if you're up in Belfast with some rounds of party and I get a good chat in person, but. Congratulations once again. It's 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 obviously it's a it's a job sort of well done for yourself. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, it won't be too long. Do you get some fight news? Yeah, thanks very much. And um, yeah, definitely, definitely. Look, I'll be speaking to you anyway before before I fight next. Like you know, on of course, I'll be speaking to you when there's when there's fight news. Um, but yeah, yeah. Okay. Thanks very much for that, and we'll be yeah, we'll be out very very soon. Not a problem, Kev. All right, cheers. Th thanks for your time. Take care. Yeah. Thanks. Bye bye. bye. Bye-bye, bye. -bye. bye.